Hi, James from the Customer I.O. Services team here. I wanted to walk through a quick example of how webhooks can be used within campaigns in Customer I.O. And in this example, we're going to be using a webhook to call an API, um, recording a response from that external API, and then using that response data to personalize an email message to the customer. In order to achieve this, I'm using an event triggered campaign, which I've set up in Customer I.O. I'm looking at the workflow builder here for this campaign, and I can see a few simple workflow steps. So the first step is the trigger event. In this case, we're using a test event for the purposes of this example. Um, the next step in the workflow, I've added a webhook action to call that external API and record the response. And the next step I've added is the email message, which will be sent to the customer with content personalized based on the response from the previous step. In this particular example, what we're going to be doing is calling an open weather API, sending over location data from the customer profile within that API call, recording the weather conditions from the API response, and then using those weather conditions to personalize the email content to the customer. So essentially we're grabbing real-time weather data and using that within an email. We can take a closer look at the setup for each of these items here. Looking at my webhook action here, I'll go ahead and click into edit. And we can see within the webhook setup here that I'm making a post call to this API endpoint. This particular API requires a zip code and a country in order to return that weather data. I'm grabbing a zip code and country from the customer's profile using Liquid here. You also have the option of adding body content in the form of JSON here. And you'll see that setup typically for most APIs um, will require some body content as well. Um, this particular API doesn't require any. It's a really simple setup. All the info is contained in the endpoint URL here. Um, next, I have the option of setting response data. This isn't required, and you won't use it for every use case. But in our particular example here, we want to record those weather conditions. So I have indicated here that we'll be setting a profile attribute. The profile attribute I've specified is named weather. And using liquid here, I've indicated what we will be doing with the response. We'll be grabbing the response from the API, looking specifically at the weather section in this case, and then formatting that data to JSON. So you have a lot of flexibility here in terms of how you set this up. Um, and it will vary depending on how your API returns data. In this case, we're interested in the weather section of the response, and we'll be formatting that data to JSON, knowing that that will make it easier to add for personalization within our email message. Going back to the request section here, I've got a test profile pulled up here, and we can go ahead and send a test using the data from this profile. Click on Send Test here. It's letting me know that it's going to send a real request to this API. I'll hit send test. And we can see the response status here. We get a 200 response. Everything looks good there. And then we can see the response data based on the location data for this profile over here. And if you remember on the response tab, we indicated that we were specifically interested in this weather section. Scrolling further down the results, we can see the response attribute setup. And we can see that in this case, it would be successful writing data to the weather attribute on the profile. So we can verify that everything has been set up correctly. We also get a preview of what the value for that attribute would be based on the response from this API. So we can see here, this is the data that would be written to the profile for this customer. 
All right, now that we've verified the setup on the webhook and confirmed that the data would be written to the profile as expected, we can go ahead and head back to the workflow. So the next step in the workflow is to send the email. We'll go ahead and take a closer look at the content for the message. Pretty simple layout here. Um, I'm pulling in a number of elements dynamically using Liquid. First one is the customer's first name. We've probably all seen some variation of this before. We're pulling in the first name from the customer's profile. Next, we're pulling in the zip code from the profile and adding that to the content as well. And that's basically just to give the customer context on where these weather conditions are coming from. Next, we'll be using the weather attribute, which was set in the API call from the previous webhook step. And we'll be parsing through that data using Liquid to uh, determine a number of possible responses. So we're providing customized content if we're recording rainy conditions, clear conditions, or cloudy conditions. Um, we also have a backup response if none of those conditions are recorded, where we're sending more generic content here. So always good to have a fallback in case um, none of these particular instances are recorded here. Um, there is a lot of flexibility. This is a really simple example of parsing through data using Liquid. Um, there are, of course, a lot more ways in which this can be done and a lot of options in terms of customization here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click over to my preview tab to take a look at the rendered content here. And looking at my test profile on the left here, um, you can notice here that I actually went ahead and sent over the test event for this customer earlier. So this live campaign um, did fire that webhook and wrote that content to the customer's profile. We can see in the preview here, we're pulling in the rendered content. So I can see first name is coming through as expected, as is zip code. And based on the liquid we looked at in the previous content section, we are providing the customer the content that it is rainy in their location. And I can confirm that is correct here in Portland, Oregon, 97203. Looking closer at my test account here, I can go ahead and click over to the attributes tab. And I could use this data to verify things like the first name and the zip code. I can also see based on that test event that I sent through, which actually fired the webhook in the previous step, that this is the data that was written to the profile for the weather attribute. And we can see here that rain was recorded, so this content is pulling in as expected. That's a quick example of how webhooks can be used within campaigns and customer I.O., and specifically how a webhook can be used to personalize email content. Hope you found that helpful, and if you have any questions for us, if there's a specific API you're looking at, or if there is another use case that you're interested in, please don't hesitate to reach out and we'll look forward to being in touch. Thank you.